Hi, this is Danny. I'm in a training development lab where I'm going to demonstrate a solar plus grid tied battery system. We call this a battery saver system. In this configuration, there's no backup included, but that makes the system cost less and easier to install. The main purpose is to reduce your utility costs. These systems install quickly, just like a typical end phase PV system, plus a few more minutes to mount and wire up the battery. The equipment needed is a solar array, microinverters, you've got the batteries, I happen to have an older generation here, or older form factor. You've got your IQ combiner box, and inside the IQ combiner is your IQ gateway, and you'll notice that I've got a cell modem and a wireless comms kit. Again, that matches this generation of batteries. We've got PV breakers for all of our solar uh, branch circuits, and if there's space, I can wire up my battery breaker here inside the IQ combiner. If I don't have enough space inside the combiner box, I can install the battery breakers in my main service panel or in, my, in a sub panel if needed. So there's a couple of ways that these systems can be configured. They can be set up to run under what we call a self-consumption mode or a savings mode, which is basically it adds more capabilities, more intelligence, including your utility rate plans, time of day, and other uh, factors that might get, make it so you'll save even more money. But simply, let's demonstrate a system in a self-consumption mode first. So I have this system set up, uh, just a minor load or two on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on additional loads right now. I'm gonna turn on a heater and you'll see that my household utility meter has begun to spin in this direction, meaning that I'm purchasing power from the utility. Now my end phase consumption CTs that are installed inside my uh, service panel here, they're gonna detect that I'm consuming power from the grid. And I happen to have a very small solar system connected here, so it doesn't generate enough power to offset my load at one moment. Now, what will happen is in just a moment, my system's going to see all this power that I'm buying from the utility, and it's going to start discharging power from the batteries. In fact, you can see the lights changed colors here. Now, over here, you'll notice that the, the, the meter has actually stopped spinning, meaning that I'm no longer buying or pulling in any power from the utility. And so just to kind of recap how this system works, we, we have our solar system running all day every day when there's daylight available. It charges the batteries first. And if I turn on loads, what we'll do is we'll pull in power from the solar system. And if the solar system can't provide enough power, we'll actually discharge the batteries as well to make it so that I don't consume any of that power from the utility. Now, if I turn off my load here, what we'll do is we'll actually resume charging the batteries until they're full. Once the batteries are full, we'll actually discharge that excess solar power back out to the utility grid, assuming that's how you have your system configured. That could vary by your utility or specific requirements in your area. So that's it. A grid tied battery system is actually really simple. Good way to save money. It's easy to install and there's not much to it. Thanks.